Hey guys, I'm Adam and welcome to the Art of UAV. Uh, today was just a quick video on a purchase I've just got. Um, my old balance chart has seen better days so I've had to throw it in the bin. Uh, this is a new one um, and I just thought I'd show you. I'm on a budget, most people are, and I've had to have a look around and see what I could afford. And uh, yeah, this has got great reviews so I thought I'd pick this up and see how it works. Um, this is the uh, the Sky RC, the S60, so it retails about £35 here. Um, and I've got two other versions, um, which is the, the D100s, so a multiple charger, which allows you to charge two batteries. And I think the, the next one up, which I'd love to have, but it's £150, it's the Q200. It allows you to charge four batteries at the same time, and it has a Bluetooth function in it, so you can keep an eye on your phone with your charging, basically. But, you know, I've picked up a balanced charger or a parallel plate. It's about eight quid. What this allows you to do is plug into your charger, or four or five batteries in or whatever you want um, and you can charge at the same time so it saves you the time keep going back once they charge blend them out then the next one you can just put them on in and just let them nicely charge so yeah um, this is just a recommendation guys um, the way I charge my batteries if you're a beginner and you want to follow these steps and it's a quick way of just uh, getting to the field there is multiple videos on YouTube on how to charge LiPo batteries but yeah I just thought I'd show you what this bit of kit is and you know like I say I'm on a budget so let's get inside the box like we always do and uh, see what, what's going on Awesome. So the Sky RCS60, it's a 60 watt charger. The more money you spend on the charger, the more watts you're going to get. 60 watts is plenty for me at the moment. It will allow me to charge multiple batteries on my charger, my, uh, my parallel charger. Um, I'll explain a little bit more about that in a minute. It's a 4, uh, 4S charger, so you can charge 1, 2, 3, and 4. I only fly between 3 and 4S at the moment. People are now getting 5S and 6S, but I'm nowhere near there yet. So this is perfect for what I need to get my quads flying. Um, I've got some new batteries. So I'll show you which ones what best to charge. If you're going to buy a battery and you're going to get some 4S batteries, try and keep it the same brand. Keep them all the same. Um, same with your 3S batteries, keep the brand the same because you know that they're all going to work together quite nicely. Um, so yeah, I can get in the box and I'll take you through um, a quick charge of how to balance charge, put them into storage mode and that should get you going. I won't go through all the features, that's what the manual's there for and I'll be boring because I'll just be talking about them but it'll say on the front of the box as well what batteries you can use on this. Um, so yeah, let's get inside. What I would say while uh, unboxing this, if you're going to go fly, charge them up. I, if, I wouldn't leave your batteries charged any more than 24 hours you know in britain the weather does change quite quickly so you could charge your batteries out you're going to go for a flight the next day and it starts raining so um yeah i recommend if you're not going to fly within 24 hours of them fully charged and put them back into storage mode uh, just keeps all your batteries nice and they're going to last a little bit longer um so this invoice don't need that so 35 pounds i paid for this Manual, um, that's going to tell you everything you're going to need to know, but I just want to take you through a quick way of getting to the field and getting these batteries charged and discharged. So yeah, I'm going to spend a bit more time looking for your manual, you won't need that. Power plug, so UK power plug, um, I'm guessing if you've got these from different countries, they'd come with uh, a different plug, if not it'll come with a converter, but this is perfect for me. Um, so that's good. This little fella is your banana cable, um, I'll show you how that works and how that connects. Just pull this off. Um, this here is your XT60 uh, connection, which is normal standard on the batteries that I've got on my LiPo, so I know it's going to connect perfectly. So I'm going to just quickly undo this because I'm going to need to plug it in. Hopefully you can see all this, guys. Again, if you've got any questions, drop a comment. I will help you out. Alright, so this is the charger. Straight away, it looks quite cool. Nice weight, and yeah, it feels quite good quality. Doesn't feel cheap. Um, here's your fan on the side, obviously you need that to keep the internals cool, which is nice. Um, got the front here, you've got a PC link, so I'm guessing what your PC link is that um, you get a micro USB, plug that in, plug it into your PC, and you could probably go to their website and download upgrade firmware or whatever, so you, you can keep on top of it. If that's a crash or something, you'd probably be able to reset it that way. Temperature sensor is another cable, and that just tells you the internal temperatures and battery temperatures, uh, which we don't need. Um, banana. Cable, this is what I was saying, you've got your negative and your plus positive, so that goes into there, negative into there, and that connects to your battery. Here you've got one, two, three, and four S, so any of your batteries up to there. When you plug them in, your batteries will only let you go in one way. You start from the right hand side, then you just plug them into the, the corresponding number to your battery. So that's that, let's peel this off. Power input, um, start minus plus and um sorry stop minus plus and start um minus and plus would probably just be your menu screen through so we'll go on to that so yeah let's turn her on see what happens
Right, so straight away, let's go start with stuff and go through the menu quickly and just sort of see what's on there. So, yeah, nice screen, nice and bright. Um, the fan hasn't kicked in yet, that won't until you start charging normally. So, I'm just going to quickly go through here. LiPo battery is what I'm using. Um, I'm guessing it's going to give you a high LiPo battery menu, system settings, so there'll be a few more bits and pieces in there. Battery resistance, DB battery, and ICD battery, and I. MH battery, uh, LIHV battery, LiPo, so high voltage battery, LiPo, I haven't got any so I won't be using that, but straight away with the batteries that I've got, LiPo battery is where I need to be. So start, okay, so this is giving me a reading, um, but we won't be able to check and set these till we put a battery in, so I think the next thing is to get battery out. So I've got a couple of new batteries, these are four S batteries, again I try and stick with the same brand. All right, so here on the battery front, this is quite. This is what you're going to need to get to learn, basically. So your milliamps here is 1,300. So they put it easy, 1.3. This is 4S battery. Um, so what we need to do is make these numbers match the screen before charging. So I always work with a balanced charge. I'm guessing if you scroll through, you've got charge, normal charge, fast charge, storage mode, discharge. But balance is where I like to be, it's where how I like to charge my batteries, I know they're all going to work. So that is up to you, you can look in the manual, look at some YouTube videos and see what works for you, but I always use balance charging. Um, so yeah, so how this works is basically you're going to connect your banana cable to the battery. This is 4S, so this is going to take up all the slots on the board. I've got a 3S, so I'm going to run you through a 3S battery as well. You just plug that in. That's only going to go in one way because of the grooves. And that's nicely connected and that's ready to charge. So what we've got to do now is look through the settings and make the settings happen. So here we got is a 1.3. So straight away, you know that the amps are now need to be set at 1.3. So I'm going to go balance charge, press start. I'm going to scroll through, set this to 1.3. There we go. And then it's going to ask you here, once you press it one more, what is the battery? And we know it's a 4S battery, so that makes sure you set that to 4S. Um, normally with these things you normally press hold down start that will go and then you have to quickly confirm it to start the battery So I'll quickly show how that works. So hold down. That's ready to go Confirm and uh, press start if you don't press that quick enough What it'll do is it'll just go back to the start menu just hold down start again and do it to you So you can get it going quick enough um, So yeah, that's that's pretty much ready to rock and roll. That's now now charging. I could leave that but We'll stop that for now. You've been out flying and you want to put your batteries back in storage mode so you know when you're going to start flying again. So best thing to do is, or like I say, the battery could be fully charged, ready to go out and you've not had a chance to get out flying but you still want to put them into storage mode. Same thing, just make sure all the numbers match up nicely on the board. So 1.3 and 4S and you're just going to scroll through so you see storage mode. Storage mode. See that? Storage mode. Again, keep all the numbers the same. Same principle. Hold down till it beeps and quickly press start and now that's going to take the battery drain the battery down to put it into the right storage mode for you again the reason to do this is one your batteries aren't going to swell two you're just going to make the battery last a lot longer and three you know that it's safe you know you put it into a little metal box and put them away with all your other batteries and you know that's in a safe mode for now so that's that i'm just going to quickly run through a quick 3s battery with you because i know some people are going to be 3s's and say why didn't you cover a 3s you only needed the 4s so let's do that So you're going to work out your maths quickly guys while I'm getting this set up. So it's a 2200, it's a 3S battery, hopefully you know what we're going to be putting in straight away. Again, this is smaller so one of your one of your fittings will be one less. So just make sure you put it up to the right, that should fit in with the grooves. And that's gone in, so let me put that in and get the camera in. Right, so you can see there's one missing, one, two, three. So that's all nicely in, make sure you connect to the banana cable. And here we go. So again, we're going to charge this battery. If you don't need to go back to the main menu, just going to scroll through to balance charge again. And now we're going to press start. And now we're going to set this amp. So hopefully you've worked it out before I have. So 2200 is going to be 2.2. So we're going to be going up 2.2. And again, that's set up 4S from the last battery. Make sure that's down to 3S. Confirm, hold down, press start, ready to charge. And again, you just go through it again once you stop that and you want to put it into storage mode. Just go in storage, make sure the battery's all the same, all set to the right thing, hold down, press start, and that's going to go back to storage mode. So that's just a, a quick guide of setting up your batteries to get them going and to decharge them pretty much. And yeah, 
The next thing was the charger, the balance plate, or parallel charger, balance plate charger, whatever you want to call them, but this is how this works. So you're going to be charging one battery at a time, it's a bit of a nightmare, doing one and then coming back, doing another. At least you can stick them all on the board, let them all charge and you ain't got to mess about, you know, they're all ready to go when it comes to it. So yeah, again, this one's a little bit different the end of the cable. I could have waited, they didn't have the uh, XT60 end on this one, um, they only had the Dean's connection. But yeah, I, I wanted one quickly for this video so I got it and they ended up buying a little converter. If you keep your eyes open and uh, wait a little bit longer, sometimes they'll come back in stock and you can just get the normal end that will connect to your banana connection, but I didn't, so I've got this. It's only a pound and it just pops in the end and that will then allow me to connect the cable. This one will plug into your charger and there's your board. So this is how this is going to work. I don't know if you can see in here, but yeah, it has numbers like 2S, 3S, 4S, 5S. And you've got six of these. Uh, unfortunately, this charger won't allow you to charge six batteries because of the wattage and it won't let you put the amps up to that much. So, you know, the more money you spend, the more you can put through. I mean, these comfortably, I can run four of these batteries off the board. Four's enough for me at the moment. Um, so I'm going to show you how to set this up and what numbers to be putting into there. Let's just get two of these batteries out. Like I say, this is where it really comes important that you're not using a 3S and a 4S charge and charge it because it won't work. It'll uh, cause more damage to anything really. So just make sure you're using all the same batteries when you're doing a four-way charge or a two-way charge. Um, keep it on the same brand because then you know they're all going to run perfectly together. But yeah, the numbers all need to match up if you're going to be using multiple batteries on here. So. Just plug them in, you would like normally find the number that matches is 4S, so that's going to have to go in the 4S port. Again, that will only go in one way. Doesn't matter what side you use between these because you've got a few batteries going in, so it should be fine. So, quick put that in there, go to this side this time. Right, so they're now connected. So, I could put my other two more in there, so I've got four going. Uh, but two's all right for the demo for the moment. So this is how this is going to work then. So once that's all connected and put in, I want to charge these. So again, I want to go to LiPo balance. They're not high voltage LiPo, so um, be fine. Just go to your standard balance charger like you were doing on your other batteries. And then you need to set this and this. So how this works, how you get your amps right. All you do is take your number that you see in front of you, 1.3, and times it by how many batteries you're going to use. So for now, it's going to be two batteries, so you times it by two. So 1.3, hopefully you guessed that, 2.6. So 2.6 will go into here. So balance charge, enter, 2.6, that adds up to your two numbers. You're going to do an extra battery, just add on that. So you do 1.3 times 3. Again, this will probably take four of these batteries, no problem. Uh, press start, and then you need to make sure they are set to 4S. And then all you do is press start, and you're ready to go. And you just go back to um, storage mode, and then set it again. So just make sure the numbers are times. That adds up to there, and you've got the right cells going through there. It'd be the same with this. You just make sure you times it by 2.2. And put that in and make sure you put it to 3s so that's how you can charge quick multiple batteries off a balance charger and it'll save you a little bit of time having to go back in that you just put them all in but hopefully that's helped you just to get get a quick initial way of setting up your lipo batteries and uh yeah discharging them so yeah let's go back up to the main screen and finish this off that's the s60 so yeah Great bit of kit for the price, it's got all the functions I need. Sure, it'd be nice to be able to charge a few extra batteries, but the board's going to do that for me for now. Um, like I say, I was on a budget, but if you're a beginner, great bit of kit to get you started. Uh, by all means, you've got that little extra money, then upgrade to a higher version so you can charge more batteries and a few more functions in there. But yeah, for now, this is going to do really well. If you get any questions, guys, drop a comment below. I answer everyone's questions, so I will get to you. But happy flying, be safe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.